My name is Stephen and this is my channel, Hearts Delight Exports. Okay, so we're back down in my shop today. Unfortunately, it's not for a woodworking video, but it is tool related at least. Today we need to do some surgery. So this happens every once in a while. You get something goes wrong with a tool. You got to try to... You got to decide whether it's worth trying to fix or if you're just going to replace it. Today I have to replace the cord on my hammer drill. So you can see right here that I have a pretty significant break in the in the cord. It's not the only one. Red tape is more breaks in the cord. So what am I going to do? Well, it wasn't as it wasn't a supremely expensive tool. It was at the time that I bought it. I didn't have the money at the time to be able to uh, easily put out that kind of money. It was forty-five dollars or something at the time. It served me for a number of years, but it is getting pretty old. So, do I toss it out or do do I try to fix it? Well, one of the factors is, do I have an actual cord that I can use to replace the broken one? I had thought with all my near hoarding level of, of saving things that I'd have a cord or a cord that would fit and would do the job. This one won't do. It's a nice heavy duty cord, three prong plug. But the drill is not three prong, so the neutral, the ground wire, wouldn't be connected to anything in the drill. And that one is set up to be used differently. I could use this one as part of an old extension cord, but again it's three wires, and however the grounding is handled in the drill, it's only two wires, not the three. So again, I can't use this cord. I've looked around the shop and there's, I've saved a few other cords. They're around and about and I haven't put a lot of effort into finding them. Mostly because I realized I had another candidate. Some of you might recognize this very dusty tool. I did a unboxing video ages ago on it. This is a sander that I bought from Walmart, and at some point, I can't remember what it was exactly that gave out, but it stopped working. I think the motor burned out. It was good for a lot of things, and now it's good for one more thing. Just so happens, or at least it looks like, this cord will do the job that I need it to do. So, first thing I'm going to do... Now I got a cord. Now I've already done some exploring inside the drill. I've taken most of the screws out. A couple of them seem to be stuck in the housing and don't want to come out. That's fine. I don't mind that as long as I can get the housing off. Put a flat top screwdriver in the casing divide there and gently lift that away. Now I'm not going to profess to be some sort of expert. I don't know how to deal with most of this stuff. But the section I need to deal with is right here. So there's a little clip that holds down the, the wire. Goes right here. Keeps everything from being everything in here from moving which is important so here's my break now first thing I'm going to need to do here is finish the break because that cord is no good to me 
Now, take that part off. That will be good to me. I can make use of that one again. Now, I need to join this wire and this wire together in here. I have a couple of morettes put, uh, put aside here. Cut back the wire just a little. Now I need a knife. I'm just rolling the wire between my thumb and the knife to break through the outer casing. I have to be very careful here, otherwise I'm going to go too far and cut the wire off. That would be a problem. I could have just, tr I could have tried at least to take this little piece of black wire, black plastic coating that's here and remove that, but that holds the wires together. I don't really want to screw with that. I don't want to screw with the wires up here at all. I only want to join into this. I think I just shifted my coating. Again, I twist the wires so they stay nice and tight together. Okay, so I got this ready. I have this ready. I can tell black from black and white from white here, so this part is simple. I'm not sure that morettes are the best idea here for this. But I have the room for them, I think, inside the handle. Maybe I don't. Don't ask me where I got red electrical tape. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I got it in that yard sale toolbox I bought years ago. I'm going to wrap this around the wire to help, hopefully help make sure that the morettes stay split apart. I don't want the morettes to uh, to come off and allow the wires to touch. Now one thing I got a hard time with at times is knowing when to stop. In this case meaning I have to know when to stop putting more tape onto the thing because I don't want to overdo it. I have to be able to keep this in here at some point.
I put too much tape on there. I'm forcing things apart. And of course, I lost the end of the tape. Finding that the outer housing of this wire is still in the way. Not allowing me to get the morettes on there as tight as I would like. Now, of course, I'm not an electrician. My advice or demonstration here shouldn't be taken as great advice. And I think if I hold it there like that, that that might work. Now, the next step is to get this piece back on. That's pretty good there. This rubber piece comes back up. Well, I did that in wrong order. The rubber piece should have been put back in place before the, the clamp was put on there. Otherwise, you can't manipulate the clamp, the rubber piece. You can't move it to get it in place. I think everything will go back in place the way I need it to, so let's give it a try. Now, it's harder to put the handle back together here a bit because I've added that extra bulk in there, those two morettes. Yeah, that's starting to close it up right. Now, 
It's important to remember the screws I'm putting in here are going into a plastic receptacle on the inside here. Don't over tighten. So each one just drops back into its hole. Now the couple that didn't come out of their housing, I need to remember to tighten them up too. Okay, so now for the moment of truth. Did it work or am I about to set myself on fire? Didn't work. So that's another video for Hearts Delight Exports. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll come back and see me the next time I post a video. And you have yourself a good day. Stay safe out there.